Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Brown Up Beauty. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm gonna to take you through my favorite liquid lipstick. This is not my ultimate favorite, but it's definitely one of the top ones, and that's NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. These are fantastic. Now, I don't use these for every day going to work because I prefer a bullet lipstick, but for when I'm going out or I need something to stay on my lips for a long period of time, absolutely. I go for these every time. I've actually got, and let me pick this up. Woo! <laughs> I've actually picked up eight shades. So of course I've got these over a period of time, not you know at the same time. They are expensive. Um, not as expensive as some of the other high-end ones that I've come across, but the formula is great. They are lightweight, easy to apply. I often actually apply these liquid lipsticks with a lip brush. This is one from Wayne Goss, number seven. This is perfect, particularly when you wanna do the outline. And the applicator is really good on this. Even then, I always, with all lip, liquid lipsticks, I just find that I have more control with a lip liner. So this is what the applicator looks like. And it is a very firm applicator. I found this applicator to be really easy to use. It does give you nice clean lines. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the lip I'm wearing right now. So at the moment, I have got a mix of two colors. This is Somebody to Love and American Woman. These two colors I've got mixed together on my lips and it gives me this beautiful sort of like a, a nudie pink shade. And wow, I enjoy wearing this combo. Absolutely mix and match them and create your own unique shade. So why don't I go ahead and what I'll do is I'll swatch all of these on my hands first and then I'll show you what they look like on my lips. Two shades on my lips right now is shade Somebody to Love and I will, that's this shade here. Mix together with shade American Woman. And these two together, again, ugh, they just work beautifully. Next is Slow Ride. This is a beautiful brown nude. I absolutely love this and it looks stunning just on its own as well. Next is Save the Queen. That's what Save the Queen looks like. It's definitely a very pinky shade. I can wear this on its own, but often I actually like to mix this with one of the other shades. So I'll either mix Save the Queen with somebody to love the first swatch there or i'll mix it with slow ride right next colors i have are on the brighter spectrum the first one is warm leatherette Woo oh this is a stunning pink look at that yes this one is beautiful it's got a lot of purple to it as well it's very nice after that is another one of my favorite shades called under the thumb and that's and, I'll, and it's got a, a bit of a raspberry berry undertone. Very pretty. Next is a bright, bright red. And lastly, there's Wayne, which is a bit of your muted orangey red. It is stunning. So these are what the shades look like. Before I move on to showing you these lip swatches, I'll just come in closer so you can take a look at my current lip. And this is American Woman with Somebody to Love. By the way, I have a tip for you. When you've got your lip cord lipstick on and it's starting to dry out, just go over it with a little brush. And all you're doing is patting it down. And what that does is it just pushes that liquid lipstick into the lines of your lips. So when you smile or anything like that, you're not gonna see gaps. You're just gonna see fluid color. So what I've got on now is American Woman. It's a pinky, peachy sort of nude. It looks beautiful on its own. I really love this shade. It absolutely will work on brown skin tones. Now I do often mix this with another color if I wanna tone it down a little bit. Close up, this is what it looks like.
and that is American Woman. Next shade is Somebody to Love. Now this shade is a perfect nude for brown skin tones. It kind of gives you that 80s supermodel vibe because of its really brown, somewhat ashy undertones. So I'll come in closer. It's beautiful. I wear this quite frequently. I don't need to mix this shade with any other shade. On its own, it looks like a great nude and it works with several different makeup looks as well. This is what Somebody to Love looks like on my hand. That's this shade here. This shade is Slow Ride. This is a gorgeous nude brown. Again, a beautiful color that you can wear on its own. You don't need to mix this with any other shade. I'll pop in a bit closer. Mm, beautiful and it definitely again goes with so many different looks but it's definitely a lot more brown than it is pink and this is what it looks like on my head it's this shade here slow ride also I just want to quickly show you what this looks like with a gloss on top so this is slow ride and all I've done is actually topped it up with NYX butter gloss this is in shade praline and it looks stunning so if you want that liquid lipstick look that's going to last you for some time but you really don't want that uncomfortable feel pop a lip gloss on top easy and sometimes i do that just because i want my lips to feel comfortable and this is what that looks like this one is a very bright pink this one is called save the queen this is perfect for summer when you're looking for something nice and bright i'll pop in closer It's a very bright pink and I kind of have to be in the mood to wear this pink but it does look very pretty but it absolutely does work on brown skin tones and of course you can always mix it with other nude colors now if you're not a big pink fan I would say stay away from this one on my hand this is what save the queen looks like it's this shade here wow this one is warm leatherette this is again a bright hot pink but it's got a lot of purple through it it again works beautifully on brown tan skin tones i'll pop in a bit closer very pretty shade another excellent one for summer and this is what this shade looks like on my hand you know what it's been some time since i've worn this shade and now that i've got it on my lips i am just loving it it looks so beautiful and i'm loving the purple undertones this is a shade wayne it's a beautiful bright red it, it's still a little bit darker and deeper but it has tons of orangey undertones the orangey undertones however are not too bright so it can be very much a wearable red for brown skin tones i come in closer This is the shade that I was wearing in my previous video when I talk about the glow product you must have. Check it out. This one is Star Woman, a beautiful, beautiful bright red. I'll come in closer. Please ignore my shoddy application. I am at my wit's end because I've got liquid lipsticks everywhere, swatches everywhere, my hands are dirty, my lips are starting to complain and you are almost at the end of the video, so hang tight. And this one shade here is what it looks like on my hand. Last one coming up. Last one, woo! This one is a gorgeous deep berry shade. This is what it looks like. I have worn this many, many times. I'll pop in closer. It is definitely a deeper berry tone. This one is called Under My Thumb. And this one is this shade here. Thank you so much, guys. This was NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. I absolutely love these liquid lipsticks. They have a very light formula and they don't suck the life out of my lips, which is really, really important. And often I will also top them with a gloss if that day my lips are feeling really dry or maybe I forgot to exfoliate my lips. Absolutely, I'll top it off with a gloss. So tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite liquid lipstick? My two favorites are these ones, of course, 
and lime crime. Lime crime is a little bit hard to source here in New Zealand. So I've only got a, a few shades. I know Cult Beauty is stocking lime crime now, so I might be able to order some shades off there. That's another fantastic liquid lipstick for my Either way, FYI, don't ever buy these Smashbox liquid lipsticks. Holy crap, these are terrible. Oh my god, I heard some great reviews about it. I went and bought myself a few shades and after a few months, they just dried out, gone. And yep, there you go, all dry. I, uh, this really irritated me, especially when I got a few shades. So this was really disappointing. Do not purchase ever please let me know in the comments below hit the subscribe button and please don't forget to hit that bell see you guys